Well, as you know by now, uh, just the eight races on the program. So, of course, the bipod will kick off in the first race, the place accumulator in the second race, the Pixix in the third race, and the first jackpot in the fourth race. So it's an early start for everything. Um, look sharp, get your bets on. It's time now for us to take you through our perms and uh, see how we've played it. And as we always say, add, subtract, and just to declare early, I have already made an error in the Pixix perm, but when we get to that, I will rectify that closer to the time, but we're starting off with place accumulators. First leg for me, are horses four, five and nine, Rock Flight, Catch the Willow and Nirvana Girl. Next leg, my value choice, five, Cardboard Cowboy and ten, Montana Sky. Then we've gone with uh, five and eight, Run to Denmark and Arrows Mark. Next leg, one, four and nine, Comanechi. Dancing Feather and Marsan. The sixth race, I've banked number one. I've taken a bit of a stance here. I've banked number one, Pinda uh, Mzala. I'm expecting her, him to at least be in the first three. I, I should hope, I should imagine. So banker for me there. The seventh race, the penultimate leg, I've banked number three, Kingston Rock. And in the last leg of the place accumulator, I've gone horses two, beat it and three academic gold for the Andre Nell stable solid form. So that's my PA perm, 72 South African rands will give you a full unit. Graham, how have you played it? Well, also 72 rands, uh, but with some different bankers. The first leg I've gone two Montfort and nine Nirvana Girl. Second leg numbers 10 Montana Sky and 11 whatever it takes. Third leg, I've gone three gentlemen's wager, five run to Denmark and eight arrows mark. Fourth leg, I've gone one Comanechi, four dancing feather and seven jacks bird. Then in the same race that you've banked Pindam Zala, I've banked number three Purple Powerhouse. The following leg, I've banked number three Kingston Rock, as you have done. Last leg, I've gone numbers two and 11, Beat It and Blush of Dawn. And that's also 72 rand for a full unit. Pick six. Now, let's look at the big one. And uh, just to declare early, as I said, I've made an error. In the last leg, you'll see there, uh, in the last leg, horses two, three, seven. Nobody else's fault but my own. It just slipped my mind. Number 11, Blush of Dawn, you need to add in there. So it should read two, three, seven, and 11, Blush of Dawn. But let me take you through it. The first leg, five, 10, and 11. Second leg, three, four, five, seven, and eight. Third leg of the pick six horses, one, four, seven, and nine. And then the fourth leg, just the three horses, one, two, and three. The penultimate leg, one, and three. And the last leg of the pick six, two, beat it. Three, academic gold. Seven, solar flare, who did impress me last time, but uh, she's gonna have it all to do to follow up, but I I'm gonna throw her in in case she does. And then my uh, inclusion there, number 11, Blush of Dawn. Uh, so that uh, amount will obviously change. But uh, yeah, it's, it looks tough as it always It is, is tough, but I've played it aggressively. You know, um, I'd rather have a, a bigger percentage of a smaller perm, and if the trips fall into place, then you get a dividend. 100%. So the first leg, I've gone 9, 10, and 11. Captain Z, Montana Sky, and whatever it takes. Gone very wide in the fourth race with numbers three gentlemen's wager, four great warrior, five run to Denmark, seven smart socks, eight arrows mark, and I'm included. Number 14, mighty smart, which is now reserve one. Uh, it was carded as reserve two, but the first reserve run has already got in. So if there's a further scratching, number six high green is already out, then that'll get a run. If we don't, well, we'll have the tote favorite. Next leg, I've included one common etchy, four dancing feather and seven jacks bird. And then I've banked number three, Purple Powerhouse, banked number three, Kingston Rock. And the way, Warren, that I've structured my jackpots is on the basis that at least one of those two must win. Both must win for me to get uh, possibly get the pick six, but if one of them were to win, then I'd have a chance in the jackpots. The last leg of the pick six numbers, two, three, and 11, beat it, Academic Gold, and Lash of Dawn. And as you can see, for a full unit, that'll just cost you 162 rands. Uh, so that's the spine of the pick six as far as I'm concerned. Well, I agree with what you say, Graham. You know, I, I've played mine a bit more, uh, you know, spent a bit more, and uh, you've gone a bit more aggressively. And you've got to do that. You, you take a chance. You like uh, Purple Powerhouse, 
uh, you stick with it, as my late father would say, it either arrives or it doesn't, it's as simple as that. Absolutely, <laughs> in or out. In or out, duck or no dinner, jackpot time, let's have a look. Here we go, three, four, five, seven and eight. The second leg, one, four, seven, nine, by one, two, three, and then the last leg, one and three, that's the middle legs of the pick six. 120 Rand gets you a full unit. You want to take 10%, it'll cost you as little as 12 Rand. And it's wonderful to have you back because as I said to the viewers, you're the bipod king and the second jackpot king. And uh, let's see what uh, your second jackpot and bipod looks like. Remember, you're only king for a day. It's easy to get beheaded, so you're only as good as the last one, which was pre pretty good, thank God. But uh, we move forward and we hope that we have some of the success on Wednesday. So as I said, as far as my jackpots are concerned, I'm banking on either Purple Powerhouse or Kingston Rock to deliver. So jackpot one, which starts with race four, I've gone three, four, five, seven, eight, and 14 uh, by one, four, and seven. Here we bank at number three, Purple Powerhouse. And in the last leg include numbers one, Ralph the Rascal, three, Kingston Rock, and number nine, Wunderbar. Jackpot two, that jackpot one costs just 54 rand. Jackpot two, 162 rands. Again, starts with race five, gone very wide here. One, two, three, four, seven, and nine. By the field in the second leg, where we previously banked at Purple Powerhouse. This time we banked at number three, Kingston Rock. And in the last leg, which is race eight, include numbers two, Beat It, three, Academic Gold, and 11, Blush of Dawn. Jackpot two, will cost 162 rands. The bipod starts with race one. We've included number three, Rain Must Fall, number seven, Vista Nova, and number nine, Coup for Loot. Second leg numbers two, Montfort, and nine, Nirvana Girl. Third leg numbers 10 and 11, Montana Sky, and whatever it takes. Wider in the fourth leg, three, Gentleman's Wager, five, Run to Denmark, seven, Smart Socks, eight arrows mark and 14 mighty smart race five numbers one four and seven common edgy dancing feather jack's bird happy in the bipod to banker number three purple powerhouse in the final leg that bipod will cost you 180 rands okay there we go that's uh, graham's bipod and second jackpot see how we go let's hope the results are in our favor and of course in your favor too